So things are gonna get a little strange here. There we go. Wow! Blew the turret right off of him while moving. Wow. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to T-34 versus Tiger. Obviously, we'll be in a Tiger today as we play this fantastic game from a while ago, but we're going to hop into the driver's seat, gunner's seat, commander's seat, and everything else of this big and beautiful tank. Give me that big and beautiful down below in the comment section, and a Circle 7 to you. Hoping to get one back as well. Hopefully, we have uh, 55 billion Circle 7s from 55 billion different people. Thank you very much for your support on YouTube as well, and I really appreciate you guys being a part of the channel. Now, with that said, Let's get this some bitch started up. So this is a very realistic tank simulator. Of course, simulator being the word simulator, of course, doesn't have everything perfect and doesn't simulate everything perfectly, but it is very, very realistic, and I love playing it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to fire up the engine here, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how things work. We're going to go ahead and press E there to fire up our engine at about eh, 600 and some RPMs. We'll get her uh, warmed up a little bit there. She's humming real nice now. And uh, we can increase and decrease the RPMs in this tank to get a little bit more response. Shift gears and, of course, uh, go forward and backwards. One thing I'm going to show you right off the bat is if we try to put it into first gear, she stalls. Needs a little bit more power than that. So when you're, uh, when you're driving your tank, well, and that and also the parking brakes on, uh, you can press. This does have a parking brakes. Best press space bar to turn that on and off. But one thing to show off too is even with 600 and something RPMs, she just can't get going yet. So not only do you have to control the engines and the gears, but you also have to control the RPMs as well. And you might have to be doing that while you're actually in the driver's seat, which really makes an unparalleled experience when it comes to driving a tank such as this. So let's increase those RPMs to max, which in this case is 2200. We're getting our just full bore right now, and we'll pop her into first gear. Let's see how fast we can go with this tank. And again, we can uh, pop it right into neutral, and we'll keep rolling a little bit, but as we're barely going, Look at how beautiful this tank is. And we can actually see from inside the tank as well, if we go into uh, into this uh, mode here, we can actually see inside the tank, we can see all of the uh, RPMs churman, churman away. Chur churman. It's chumming. Humming. Chur something. It's something in a way. And uh, we can actually uh, back off a little bit off this uh, view and look outside the, uh, look outside the, the uh, hatch as well. And uh, let's pick up the speed a little bit here. We can actually go all the way up to eight different gears that we have. And I'm a little bit more familiar with the engine, but not the ammunition type. So I'll need your help, too, in the comments section if you want to identify which ammo is which. Don't expect me to be a Tiger Ace or anything like that today. I'm just here to get some kills and have a pretty good time. So, all right. So we're going to press F2, and that should bring us right back into the tank. We can check out the driver port, and we can uh, look over here at uh, different things. I think some of these might be electronic compasses and uh, different types of engine monitors, possible fuel gauges and such. I'm not entirely sure, but the most important thing is at least the gear and the speed in which you're uh, in and how fast you're going. So we're going to meet up with this other Tiger tank. Our mission today is to destroy T-34-76s and Ziz-2 and 3 AT guns, which apparently are hidden up ahead. So it is, uh, I believe it's late or mid-1944, and so we're trying to stop the Soviets' advance, basically, and so they'll have plenty of tanks up against us. So. Uh, let's switch out to, I think we can go into this uh, view here, uh, and uh, basically a first-person HUD with no uh, realism to it at all. And of course, that being not realistic at all. There we go. Whoops, my bad. Sorry. Wall of text. Wall of text, Raptor. Why you do this? So, this tank is uh, very capable of going, I think I've maxed it out at 40 kilometers an hour, at least in the game. So it's a very, very quick tank, too. That I mean, you know, considered considering how big it is and considered... Uh, how, uh, you know, powerful and armored this thing is. Of course, designing a tank around that 88 millimeter wasn't easy, but they sure as hell designed a uh, really an artistic looking tank. It really looks nice in, in any sense. Looks like these guys are ready to start the offensive as well, or they're scared of my power. Yes, fear me. So let's see if we can pop her up into eighth gear. That actually might be a little bit too much, but nope, looks like we did it without stalling out. Yay, I learned something today. And uh, we're just, we're basically uh, double shifting, no problem. Uh, I can't get any Tokyo Drift going in this thing, though, but we may want to back it down a little bit in speed and try to, try to be as realistic as possible. So, I know from practice that uh, there's enemy troops, tanks, and vehicles on the other side of this hill. So we're going to switch now over to the gunner. We're now in the uh, gunner command, and uh, as soon as I press F3, we'll go up into that view. So we're going to back it off on the speed a little bit now, and uh, we, we're going to want to get up over that second hump, and then we'll get right into uh, killing enemy units, so let's see what we can do. So we're looking up at a big and beautiful sky. We're not an anti-aircraft gun, but we are an 88mm uh, cannon, 8.8 centimeters on this. We can fire uh, 
three different types of ammunition at the moment, plus our MG as well, at least our coaxial. And I think you can command the hull MG too as well. I'm not entirely sure. So let's kind of look around and see where there might be enemy targets. Let's, uh, take a, let's take a stop right here for a second and just see what happens to be around. You can hear the turret uh, humming away and uh, clicking away as it's uh, looking around. Looking into this forest here. I'm looking for any infantry, any signs of the enemy. Nothing spotted just yet, so we'll kind of continue to move forward cautiously and carefully. Hopefully we don't, uh, you know, get hit by the enemy before we see them first. And uh, let's see if we can keep getting up this hill. The other tank should be up here very soon to support us. So uh, again, uh, just want to stay in this view so we can search for enemy AT guns that may be around or enemy tanks. Uh, I keep stopping here, but we're not on flat ground entirely yet. Oh, there we go. We finally hit flat ground. All right, let's start looking around. Oh, boy, we got our first target right here. Yep, there she is. That is a Ziz 2 or 3. Not entirely sure. I'm not an expert. I can only tell... Uh, by clicking on it in Men of War Assault Squads. Oh, and we've got another one right here. Okay, well, it looks like they might be aiming at us first or something like that, so let's uh, increase our range a little bit and take a sh our first shot at these guys. Beautiful, nice hit there. All right, oh, now, yeah, now they really see us. All right, second one's going to die here in a second. Oh, yeah, uh, there we go. Beautiful, two hits on that. So we've got a couple of AT guns there that are eliminated. There's going to be some other hidden ones around. So we need to look around for him, and actually we see him firing right now. I think the other Tiger tank is getting up close to us. Oh, there he is. There's that third one. So we're, we're going to want to move forward a little bit. Very difficult to aim. Still possible to do, but very difficult. And I can hear the other uh, tank firing its machine guns at us. Or at, at them, rather, as they're firing their guns back. Uh, that one's going to be about four. Let's try that. I'm just guessing, by the way. This is how I play all my games. So, oh, hello, another AT gun. Back that off to about uh, three. And let's get away from the cliff a little bit. I don't want it to hit the, don't want it to hit the dirt. But I do want the Soviets to hit the dirt, and in fear of our big and beautiful Tiger tank. Now we can also play as the T-3485. So for those of you who want to see that, all right, another hit, four for four so far, very nice. So for those of you who want to see a T-3485, I will definitely be doing that as well, and a few missions for both of them. I can hear the, uh, the big Tiger tank next to us firing as well, possibly with this coaxial at uh, infantry that must be in the woods. Oh, hello, we've got a Soviet transport truck on the run. Let's see if we can hit this guy on the run as well. Oh, there's two of them. Hold on a second, let's see if we can... I don't know who to shoot first. Oh, hold on. Oh, all right, I got tabbed out there for a second. This game seems to do that a little bit, so if there's any sort of weird editing, it's from the strange tab out. Yeah, and then uh, he fires automatically as well. I've tested this a few times, so he seems to fire wildly after you get tabbed out, but oh, hello. We've got ourselves a, uh, I don't, why does he keep firing like that? All right, hold on just a second. So things are going to get a little strange here. There we go. Wow, blew the turret right off of him while moving. Wow. So my game was glitching out. I was like uh, tapping out of the game and stuff, and we got a fabulous kill in right there. Oh, there you go. See, when I'm not paying attention, when I'm not trying to be cool, that's when I'm doing my best. We're going to get hit eventually here in a second. I think there's another AT gun that we somehow overlooked that I think is firing at us right now. I can hear it firing anyway. And we're going to try to stay in a realistic situation. I don't want to go into, like, third-person mode or anything and look around. We did destroy two AT guns there, and I believe two more guns that were over on the hill, possibly placed by those trucks. Other trucks may be escaping earlier, but we blew the hell off that first uh, T-34 turret. Let's try to do it for a second one. Oop, a little low on that one. All right, there's another one. Another T-34 coming our way. Foya! Oh, beautiful. Okay, we got a hit there. We could damage their main guns, at least. Let's try to go for the second tank. He seems to be wanting to engage us. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Yep. Oh, I th is he going to show a side? What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Oh, all right. We main gunned him. Beautiful. Yeah, all right. You want to go, too? Boy, ah. Oh, oh, okay. Well, the armor on the T-34-76s are very powerful. We might actually come up against some 85s, too. Ah, another nice hit. Now, I'm going to try out the other types of ammunition, too, in just a second. Again, I'm not exactly sure what they do. Because I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm no, I'm no tank expert or anything. Oops, that was a machine gun. Oh, back to our driver view. There we go, back to gunner view now. And let's fire this one. Oh, actually, he's on fire. Wait a minute. Oh, shit! Nice, we knocked him out. Okay, we just needed to kind of be a little bit more patient. Looks like this tank's out of the game, too. So let's see if we can give him one more. One more what's for. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure he's out of the game now. We, we've disabled him, but let's just make sure. He's on. He's smoking. Could be on fire. 
Alright, well, we've hit him enough, I think. Alright. Let's go back to a 12 o'clock position then with our tank turret. Takes a while to turn, but uh, it's very nice to have this tank uh, be in this tank. Alright, let's uh, switch back over then. I think our other... What's that? Is that the other... What? Were we up here all alone? I thought... Oh, is that other tiger tank advancing or what? Oh, there he is down there. Okay, I thought... I was wondering why they weren't shooting at me then if that tank wasn't there. Look at that destruction on the hill. That's beautiful, man. We sure as hell destroyed quite a few tanks. Oh, is our tiger tank knocked out? He seems to be smoking a bit too. Oh, shit. Is he out of the game? That might just be up to us then. Gotta be on the lookout for any other... Uh, AT uh, guns or anything that could be around. Hold on, let's come to a full stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell's that down there? Well, let's put our parking brake on. Something's shooting us. All right, enemy troops uh, down there are dead. That must be what the T-34 was shooting, or the uh, Tiger was shooting at. In addition to those T-34s, something just hit the dirt in front of us. Something's shooting. All right, hold on, we gotta go into this view because I'm never gonna be able to find it this way. Or could it be? Uh, oh, I see something moving up on the right side. Oh, my bad. Yeah, they shouldn't uh, put the HUD that way, by the way. the uh, Not the HUD, but the uh, in-game controls like that, or what, whatever you call it, the debug menu. Oh, shit, we took a hit there, finally. So when you get hit like that, the crew kind of, uh, you know, gets a little uh, rustled around a little bit. All right, let's keep going down the hill then. No problem. Let's do it, baby. Yeah, we're going to keep taking hits, but... Uh, not much we can do until we actually find what we're getting shot at by. That other T-34 is knocked out. It's main gunned. Uh, its gun is definitely main gunned. Oh, there she is. Hello, beautiful. All right, let's put the parking brake on. Looks like it stalled out our engine. That son of a bitch. You're going to get it now. Stand by. Foya. All right. Mission ended successfully by destroying that last AT gun. So I think I've figured out what it is, too, by the way, uh, that's goofing me up. It's just because of the, uh, when I have to press F2 and F3 or whatever to, uh, to do that. So sorry about the, uh, you know, the cutout on a few things. But that last AT gun up on the right side was exactly what we were looking to destroy. So very good. Very good indeed. All right. We'll be back with more T-34 versus Tiger very soon. I'd like to thank you guys for uh, checking me out yet again. Thank you very much for your support. And again, if you watch this far, kitty cat down in that comment section, or tell me your favorite type of cat. I uh, let's see. I think um, I think a German Shepherd is my favorite type of cat. That's a joke. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.